Welcome back guys, uh, Starlord here from Wombat Gaming, just another video uh, just um, of my map, nothing specifically being covered today, um, although I do want to cover the fact that I have finally upgraded to tier 4 on my town centre, um, so I believe that gives me a few different upgrades, um, I need to accumulate a little bit more gold by the looks because I used 5,000 to do that upgrade. I've only got 300 in my, about 500 plus in my trading post. So uh, I might move some of that across just to, in case I need it. Um, yeah, so look, uh, so far so good. Uh, looks like as I did that, a lot of these houses all of a sudden needed resources. So I'm guessing they're getting an upgrade. Um, as a result of that town hall, um, I guess, yeah, I guess the town four is giving, some of them are over the, um, over this des desirability level, so, um, yeah, so 90 plus on these houses, oh, 87, so it looks like. 85 is the threshold by the looks. We've got one here that's um, 85 is not getting upgraded actually. Or is it? Yeah, no, it is. So, yeah, so anything under 85 is not going to get upgraded. So, we need to increase the desirability of some of these 50s, 60s. Uh, to well, we'll see what happens um, at the moment. Um, I think I can't recall. I think they're just holding five people, and I, hopefully it increases the occupancy. And I know it's going to change the look of the place. Um, so we can go ahead and upgrade some things that um, may need some upgrading, like our uh, barracks. So I'm wondering what, what that will give us. I'm assuming more soldiers. Um, so. Um, go ahead it's a shame too uh, just on the subject of um, yeah the the barracks and the military aspect of this particular game um, I do think it could be improved dramatically um, we have um, situations where raiders will come in and spread themselves out for one and at the moment unless that changes I don't see it changing uh, you can only put the flag for combat in one area so it does kind of spread you know, in the case of 12 troops so far, um, I mean, the one little area, and um, as you can see over here, I've had, I'm repairing some walls that got damaged um, in this area here, and over here, they were attacked on two areas, so, and I wanted to, to get, I took troops out to try and defeat them, but um, they got through over here, so, all of a sudden, you know, that, and I think I had a small attack down the bottom here, so I'm just upgrading some stuff down here as well, but um, yeah, I think I wish I could spread troops. I think troops could be spread out a bit, but easier. Or the military aspect of the game was a little bit better. It'd be a bit more fun, I think. So, especially on Trailblazer, um, I haven't played the hardest one yet, but um, it's just hit play. Um, yeah, so I think that, that that's just one thing I think we could have done. I'm going to upgrade the barracks just to see what will happen. And um, all right, we got a greater area of effect on the um, troops, which I mean, in all realism, it really doesn't make much difference anyway because it's in the middle of my city. But I'm not going to let people get in without me using it, the flag option. So it's really this circle thing, in my opinion, is a bit of a waste unless someone knows an ulterior reason. I know that the uh, Town centre, you can ring the bell, um, and it acts as a bit of a buffer. If you, if you troop, if troops do get into your city, raiders, uh, you can uh, that fire out a lot of uh, arrows. I've never had to use it on Trailblazer, so yeah, I don't think uh, on hard it probably is a bit different. Um, but yeah, at the moment, um, graveyard's looking a little bit full. Got room for 17 more people. I've got two, <laughs> two full graveyards. So what? I've lost a hundred. And 90, 183 people total. Um, yeah, so at the moment, um, gonna see what happens with the upgrade. I think I've played enough to get a basic grasp on the game. What I'm planning on doing next is I'm tossing up two options here. One is completely 
moving everything in the city. I did a lot of stone, I think. Um, and it, like, it has I've contemplated doing a complete move to this area and, and, and restructuring the building one by one. I don't know if that's possible, but um, I think once the town hall's down, you can't move it. So hang on, let's double check that. Yeah, so that's not going to happen. So uh, essentially, I think next time I'm going to look at playing the game, restarting the map on a different, maybe a different map, and really thinking about structure, uh, having the, I've got some ideas in relation to, now that I know how big the uh, size is that I need um, to get to this tier, I, you know, I've, I've heard of people getting the citizens up quite high, I'm not terribly too worried about that. I'm going to try one of these manners and see what happens. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm not too worried about size. I think, I mean, I've, I've got this far without any real issues. Um, but no, yeah, survival, we've got food, no food problems, um, gold problems. Uh, I've really only been playing it a couple of weeks, and yeah, Trailblazer, in my opinion, not terribly challenging. Um, for someone who's had experience of playing this type of game. So yeah, give me your thoughts if you think it is challenging or not challenging. That'd be uh, good to know. And also, just uh, let me know what your thoughts about the the military concept of the game. Is it enough, you know, like I've played, even, even go, I'm going back a long time here, but um, Rome and Pharaoh are a couple of great city building games on PC. Uh, they still are, I mean, if you want to check them out. Um, I, had, I think I feel like they had better, better mechanics. They didn't look as good. Uh, you know, there's no doubt about it. You know, they were, we were talking a long time ago, <laughs> but, but um, I think the concepts that they had in place in regards to military and tr trading and the way it set, set up it's, it was, in my opinion, much more advanced. So I know this game is in early release, so it's still got a ways to go. But, yeah, I think maybe that's something they really need to look at. Alright, so uh, we've just upgraded our fort. So we've doubled the amount of people. Um, we've gotten a bunch of people have left. Not really sure, they're not terribly happy. Not sure why. Um, I see they've lost all their armor. Which they had on them, which is a little bit weird. I'm um, sure what's going on there. Oh. They didn't place it back in here because the plate armor's not there anymore. Oh, hang on. Alright, it's just refreshed. Okay, so. Okay, so they're wearing their plate armor and stuff now, so. Okay. Um, yeah, so I've, apart from that, we've got still got the one arrow. Yeah, we, the flags we can move for combat area. Uh, we can get 12 more soldiers. I'd like to see the ability to place soldiers on the walls, maybe, um, or um, I don't know. A more, yeah, more formation in regards to. I know they're raiders, but still, you know, if you've got a, in, a, in a, these times, if you had a castle this big, you wouldn't just be rushing out to meet, you know. The, the raiding party and you be more str strategic I think so yeah um, all right we had um, our house down here where do we have this oh, think, oh here we go so this is a manor okay so we've upgraded the manor we got an extra person so not sure how many houses I've got um, do a quick count. We've got essentially 5, 6, 7, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, probably 50 plus 60 houses. So it really is only, if I, if I upgrade every single house to that, I'm going to get about 100 more people. So you see, it's got to be pretty large to sustain a thousand population. We're talking, I've got two markets here, and of course, we're two markets. You need two schools, you need two healer huts. Pubs destroyed for some reason. Okay, 
brawl. Maybe the raiders got in before I didn't notice that. But, um, yeah. I feel like... What have we got on defenses? Nothing extra. Let's go through the amenities. Nothing extra in amenities. Nothing extra in housing. Nothing extra in storage. Food production, nothing extra. Resources, nothing extra. Defense, nothing extra. We have some decorations. They don't provide anything. So in my opinion, not worth it. Um, no, I'm sorry, there were roads actually and fencing. So the only thing we received in buildings was uh, the iron fences and gate. Nothing else. Very underwhelming, I've got to say. Yeah, not not happy. Um, yeah, not not happy at all actually. Uh, I feel like I've got it to an end pass on the game and not really sure where to go from here on this particular one. I could concentrate on building population. Essentially that's the only really area I can go. So I think what we're going to do is use what we've learnt. Uh, restart a new map. Uh, this time going to make it more challenging and yeah see if we can um, get this far with this ease on the hardest level I guess. Um, yeah I see Yeah, look, I have plenty of room for decorations, as you can see. There's, there's land, I've left land free, and things I can remove, classes and stuff, and I can put better things in there if I really want to. So it's not a matter of, you know, I, I feel like I could probably get all these houses to, to mana level if I really wanted to. Um, which is 100 plus desirability, um, knowing what I know now. Yeah, it just needs to be structured. I think, as you can see, that the biggest desirability area uh, that I've got good percentages is just here. So, quite a bit of few little gardens. We're, we're very close to the, the theatre. A nice big statue here that provides you know, um, quite a bit of desirability. And really a garden here, really, that's kind of all. But I think all those things put, put together have created that 100 plus. This guy's reaping the rewards of everything. So, so medium gardens, all these things can be upgraded now, so I can add more in here or these areas if I want to. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. I'm going to leave it there and really contemplate what I'm going to be doing next. So it will be either one of two things. It'll be a complete restart on hard and see whether I can do this again and or better it even like I'm not really happy with the layout I uh, had to expand not knowing how big it was going to be to be honest and, and originally and yeah so it's either going to be that or I'm going to like this play on Trailblazer again but I'm going to design a better fort structure you know um, and see how that looks out so make it look, look a little bit better I'm going to have design the, uh, I guess, the the aspects of where the houses are better and then have the, yeah, all this uh, trade, all of, you know, this e-commerce stuff, you know, e-commerce, all this commerce stuff over here, um, close up to, to, to this area where the housing is, so, you know, things are moving quite faster and there isn't as much travel time and etc, etc, so... Yeah, um, as you can see, just to go over quickly and cover, everything's full, I'm producing most things, I have more than enough labourers at the moment, um, I could build more stuff if I really wanted to, yeah. Alright, well, look, thanks for watching. Really short one today. And um, we will catch you in the next video. Stay tuned. I might do a tutorial on something. And um, using this map from what I've learnt to help those out who are struggling. 
Um, and yeah, look forward to speaking to you guys soon. Alright, take care.